G'day guys, how you going? Man Cave Man here. Me and the missus just bought a house. She said she doesn't care what the house looks like as long as it's got a decent kitchen. And I said I don't care what the house looks like as long as it's got a decent shed so I can make a mini man cave. This house has got one better. It's got a goddamn granny flat out of the back. This thing's got a kitchen, bathroom, shower, wet area, heater. It's already all set up. Now I've got to deck it out for myself. Right there guys, so that's the door that comes just straight from the driveway. Nice three meter high ceilings, which is great. So what I'm planning to do is in that side of the wall there, I'm gonna have a big 42 inch or 52 inch um, LCD screen in the wall with a nice couch in the corner here. I'm gonna have all the cords for the TV all go through the ceiling and into this cupboard over here so that way everything's you know sealed you, you can't can't see anything it's gonna be great gonna have an xbox in there and, and stuff like that as well gonna have some nice wall hooks for my guitar hero guitars so you just whip, rip a guitar off and start playing and yeah she's all ready to go no cords no nothing here's my my old jukebox well it's kind of my new jukebox it was originally a um a real ami uh, 1988 model I think it was had all the discs in it uh, and all the um, changing panels but they actually the disc drive broke and it was going to cost me a few hundred dollars to fix it up I had an old computer sitting there so I thought I'll try wire that into the um, amplifier and see if I can get it to work and she worked and over time with a bit of money I eventually bought an LCD screen made a touch screen made a nice stainless steel surround up at work uh, put it all in and yeah, now she's great. She, I can choose anything I want. I'm using Album Player as well as a jukebox program. She works lovely. But I'll do a separate video on this as well, on how I made it and uh, how you can make your own touchscreen jukebox. All right, and here's my kegerator. Now, we've just moved into this house, as I said before, so it's not all set up. I've just got stubbies in there at the moment. But yeah, so I've got my two kegs, my gas, keg tops but yeah I'll go through that and uh, do another video on this and how I made that and how you can make your own piece of piss also started to make my own uh, main machine plug that up and she all works so I'm eventually going to be making a main cabinet I'm going to be having a, going to be having a video on how I've done that as well that's going to be roughly here somewhere but in here this is where um, Mrs. and all our mates have been smoking this is kind of the smoking room gonna fix this wall up. I don't, I don't actually know why they put this here. My take would be there's a hole or something there that they're trying to cover up. It's gonna be a dart wall, so I'm gonna have a dart board set up there. I've got, I've got speakers up here for the jukebox. Right, this is the bathroom. So I've got my shower. I don't really know if we'll use that, but um, I don't know, probably set it up so you know when people come around they can just crash in the man cave and, and you've got your own shower and toilet as well. Is great. A lot of man caves, what I've seen on the internet, a lot of man caves don't have their own outdoor area. Well, this is where this is great because right behind this window here, it's dark at the moment so you can't see anything. Um, right behind this window, I've got about three meters to my back fence. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock out the rest of that brickwork, take out that window, and put in a nice sliding door there. I'm going to walk out onto a deck and the deck's going to be fully from the wall to the fence right right the way around complete other side of the um, other side of the block so if Mrs. is in the house you know watching TV or something she can't hear all the crap we're talking about and you know all the stories we're saying it's going to be great right here I'm planning to have a, a nice pool table full size with another TV in the wall of course got to have TVs love TVs what I didn't say before was the jukebox is also a video jukebox. So it plays all the videos as well. That's gonna be hooked up to all the TVs. So no matter where you are, you can see the video clip of the song uh, that I'm playing. Right, so this is the kitchen. Gonna be the new bar. What I'm planning to do here is move the oven and stove top back to that corner. Then run a stainless steel bench top right there right the way around here. I'm gonna make this one up at work and it's gonna be a U shape so it's gonna come here and end about here. 
and then on the top on the actual bar height the bar is going to be an old hardwood timber it's going to look freaking fantastic i can't wait to do this and i'm also going to have the top rocker that goes right around so it's going to have all the spirits and stuff in there uh, i might also have another like a small tv up here as well so you, no matter where you are you can watch tv watch the game watch the videos that are playing on the jukebox whatever's going at the time Probably also going to cover up this, I don't know, make some little shelves and shit, have all our shot glasses and, um, you know, stubby holders and that type of stuff. With the flooring, what I'm planning to do is rip up all the carpet and there's a few ideas floating in our heads. We're either going to do polished concrete because there's a concrete slab under there, although the slab wasn't laid to be polished so it could come up looking like shit and I don't want that. Uh, we're thinking about doing nice big tiles all the way through. Because, you know, when you have people around, like, look how grotty the carpet is. The carpet just gets grotty and the carpet's not ideal for a, a party place. Also thinking about just painting the concrete, gr um, grinding it back to a nice smooth finish and giving it a nice dark coat. That way, you know, if she's done, easy to clean up. Um, yeah, easy to clean up spills and stuff like that. We're thinking uh, polished floorboards, but they scratch pretty easy and yeah they won't la well, they won't look new for long and I want something that's going to be durable so if anybody has any ideas um, or some insight on what they've done in, in their man cave please let me know because I'm kind of stuck on this one so if you guys want to follow me on renovating the man cave please like and subscribe to my channel and don't be afraid to give me tips and ideas and show me what you guys have done cheers